Hello everybody, the Quiet Atheist here yet again with another very interesting and funny video for you guys today. You know, when it comes to creationists, I think that it's pretty safe to say that they can be rather entertaining individuals, especially with the propaganda that they come up with. This individual that I'm about to talk about in this video is another creationist who likes to basically refuse scientific methods when it comes to dating things that have been here way before us and way before our time. So I wanted to share a part of this article with you guys because, again, it is very amusing to see this type of mindset from a creationist. And the sad thing is, we have creationists like this today. You know, for instance, we have Eric Hovind, we have Ken Hovind, and we have a, a plethora of individuals who like to believe in this type of nonsense. You know, and the things that they say is just completely ridiculous. But I wanted to get back to this article because, again, it's something that is really funny to me, and I wanted to share it with you guys. I felt compelled to share it with you guys. And it's just another prime example how religious nut jobs can be nut jobs, you know. So I wanted to share a part of this article with you guys. An Australian creationist dismissed the recent discovery of a jawbone fossil that pushes back the origins of, of humanity by half a million years. The fossil, which scientists say is 2.8 million years old, appears to be from a previously unknown species that represents the earliest known member of the human lineage. Tass Walker, a geologist from Creation Ministries International, said in an interview with Australia's 693 AM that he doesn't trust scientific dating methods because researchers deliberately skewed their findings. And I quote, Every dating method is based on assumptions about the past, and so you choose the dating method to get the date, the sort of date, to fit in with where it is, and you select the results that fit in with your research program, Walker said. This guy's a fucking idiot. And he also had the audacity to say that the only way that you can get a proper date on these types of things is if you were there to witness this species. You know what I mean? He says, you know, there were no scientists there to observe this species of human, so we couldn't actually say that there was something there this time ago, you know? It's something that is completely ridiculous. And since this subject is something that I felt compelled to share with you guys, I thought that I would take it upon myself to ask creationists out there and Christians alike, you know, were you guys there when Moses parted the Red Sea? Were you guys there to see Abraham trying to kill his child? Were you guys there to see the great flood, if you will? Because you have to be there to observe it, to actually see that it actually happened. You guys have videotape of it. You guys have anything to prove that all of these events actually happened. You know, these creationists, these Christians, come up with the most, again, ridiculous things I've ever heard of, you know. And something tells me that they probably won't stop anytime soon, you know, especially when it comes to their propaganda that they tend to have a habit of spewing any chance they get, you know. And it's amusing to me to see these people, you know, spew this nonsense, you know, because it really shows us how much of a fool these people really are. And that's what I wanted to share with you guys. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And feel free to share this video with anyone that might be interested, whether it be on Facebook, Google+, Tumblr, Reddit, Yahoo, wherever you guys hang out. Till next time, The Quiet Atheist is out. And remember, if you can be good, be good at it. Most of all, thank you for watching. And I will see you next video. Oh, yeah. Christians, do you have any proof for any of these events that you claim really happened in your alleged book of truth? Do you have any proof of any of these things? Were you witnesses? Like I said before, do you have cameras? Do you have anything that can prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that any of these things happened? Because, to be honest with you guys, it didn't. According to, you know, to me it didn't, you know. So, I would like to see some proof. Because these creationists out there are getting more ridiculous every day. And it's something that is getting funnier every day.